everyone, this is Cameron Vogelsang with Tennessee Electrician and today I'm going to show you how to replace a three-way switch. So the first thing you want to do before you touch anything is make sure that you turn the breaker off for that circuit. So I know which one it is. All you do is shut it off like that. The first thing you're going to do is unscrew your switch from the box. This is a two game box. This is a three way switch and then this is a single pull switch. And unscrew it and pull my wires out. All right. Before you unscrew the wires, you want to make sure you don't get your two blacks mixed up, your two black wires, which are your hots but you don't want to get them mixed up. So when you unscrew these, it's important to know that this black wire is on this black screw. So you have a black screw right here and then you have two gold screws. So you want to keep track of this wire right here because it needs to go back on the same place. And this is called your common. So this is your common screw, your common, your common wire. All right, so I'm going to put that up there so I don't forget. And I'll show you how to if something happened, I'll show you how to figure out which one's the common. I'm gonna take all these wires off. This is your ground wire. It goes on the green screw. All right. Have my three-way switch off. Now I'm going to get my other three-way switch and replace it. In case you, for whatever reason, forgot which black wires were at which, um, need to be able to know which one's the common wire. It's important that you know which one the common wire is so that your three-way switch will work properly. If, uh, if you don't know which one's which, you wanna identify what is called your 14-3 wire. Your 14-3 wire is your red wire and your black wire that come from the same wire. So <clears throat> just identify the black and the red that are together. Those are gonna be, or they're, they're called your, uh, your traveler, your traveling wires call them travelers. And so those go together and they go across from each other on the switch. And so the black and red that are together, they're gonna go across from each other on the gold screws. Your common is always gonna be nine times out of 10, the black wire that's by itself in here. See how that black wire is by itself? It's not with, the, with this one, it's coming from a different wire. That's always gonna be your common. I have my new three-way switch and put my ground back on the green screw. I'm gonna take my travelers and put them back on. It doesn't matter which wire goes on which gold screw. You have to make sure that they're on the gold screws and across, directly across from each other. So I'm gonna put this one on first. And then I'm going to flip it over to the other gold screw with my other traveler, put it on. All right, now you can see I have my traveler wire, wires hooked up. They're across from each other on the bottom. And sometimes there are switches where the common is on the bottom and the travelers are on top. Um, but you always just, you can always just know that these are gonna be across from each other every time. And you'll take your common wire that, um, that now we know how to identify which that one is. And you're gonna put it back on the black screw. Now you have that and you're gonna fold your wires up neatly. You don't want this ground wire right here touching um, your hots or else the breaker will trip. Just tighten it down a little bit more. And also, if, if you don't put your common back on the right screw, like if you put this common wire on one of the screws that's supposed to be for a traveling wire, um, you'll be able to turn on the light Sometimes, like if you have the other three-way switch in a different position, 
you won't be able to turn it on. It, your, your light won't function, function properly. So if that's the case, you know for, for certain that your common wire is not hooked up on the right screw. So I'm gonna fold this back up neatly. And just to save you some time, you can just leave, leave the uh, switch plate off. You can leave this off and go turn the breaker on and make sure that your that your light functions properly. You just have to be careful because once you turn the breaker on, obviously this is hot in here, um, but that way you don't have to keep unscrewing and taking off the plate and whatnot. Um, you can make sure that it works right. So that's how you install a three-way switch. I hope this video was helpful. Like and subscribe if you would like to see more content like this.